All right, just shot this real beautiful northern buck. And uh, I just switched to these fusion uh, bonded bullets. I'd been shooting copper and I, I couldn't get, um, I was having a hard time getting the bullets that I'd been shooting. So anyway, I tried these and they shot real well. And I also like that they're, uh, they're shorter, they're shorter bullet. So in these pumps, sometimes a longer, a longer bullet is more apt to get hung up when you're, you know, when you're cycling through shells. So anyway, I made the switch and um, I hit this deer and you can see this is great big thick uh, northern deer here. He was looking, he was downhill of me looking up and I had this here, but base of his neck basically. And so I hit him there and it went all the way through and we got a good, good exit um, here on the other side. So my feeling is that that bullet stayed pretty well intact uh, by the the way the um, the exit hole looked there. I think that probably we had some good you know expansion to the bullet as well. Uh, I mean those copper bullets I was, was shooting um, did real well. Uh, I had passed through on an animal last year and uh, the wound channel wasn't you know um, too catastrophic, but uh, on these big deer. You, <laughs> You really, you want to make sure that bullet <laughs> does does its job and gets in there because these are big boned, thick animals. Uh, they're not like your, you know, your your kind of like middle western and southern white tail breed. This northern northern tier uh, Canadian um, tier of white tail is is a much thicker animal. So anyway, uh, just my feedback. Um, first animal that I've shot with them. So <laughs> it worked out all right. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm awful happy because, uh, he didn't, he didn't go anywhere. And, uh, I think that, uh, the bullet did a, did a real good job.